special edition of Nightline. Mystery Diagnosis, Children Under Attack, continues. Here now, Juju Chang. Please welcome Academy Award nominee, Amy Adams. That, of course, the very recognizable voice of uh, Randy Thomas. He's been the voice of Nightline, Ted Koppel, since day one. Voice of the Tony Awards, the Academy Awards, and now also speaking on behalf of the Empire Outlets, Joe Ferrara's group out on Staten Island doing a terrific job with that. And uh, she's live in studio, legendary. Was even here many years ago, not in this building, but as a WPLJ host. We're going to get to all that. But before we do all that, Randy, we got to start with... I got to know you. You reached out to me on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And it really all starts, has nothing to do with you or any of these great things you've done during your career. The real star here is your husband. <laughs> he loves me. He loves Bernie. He was an IMS fan. He's in Brooklyn somewhere. No, we live in Los Angeles. He wakes up at like 4 a.m. Oh, I a. thought he was here. No, I, oh, is no, that right? I'm I thought you guys traveled back and forth. I'm going on 36 years of marriage. Oh. I leave him in Los Angeles because we have a great Dane that needs taken care of. Okay. But he's one of those guys. He doesn't sleep a lot, so yeah. he wakes up super early, and he's huge fans. And Every morning I wake up, and I get the update. That's unreal. On what's going but on. He's from Nothing Brooklyn originally, is that what it is? He's originally a Brooklyn yes, guy? Yes, yes. He's oh, okay. A, John, yeah, yeah. And his last, John who? His, what's his what last time? Oh, Joe Ferreira? Joe no, Ferreira. No, no, no. Your husband. Oh, my husband, yeah. Arnie, Arnie. Arnie Wall. That's right, oh, Arnie, Arnie yeah, Wall. Yeah, yeah, so Arnie, Arnie, Arnie gets Wall. up very early every morning in California and puts us on. Yeah. That's fantastic. So you've got listeners all over the country, All over the world. You're not just all over the world. You're not just New York. Oh, no, no, no. Huge. All right, so let's get to why you're here. The Tony Awards is coming up on Sunday. Correct. And you're working with Joe Ferrara and his group, which built these beautiful outlets on Staten Island last spring. Got a new ferry coming in December. And it's going to be the, it really is the destination for any New Yorker that wants to do outlet shopping, which I happen to love. I right, love that. Right. And you're going to be giving away tickets. This is unbelievable yeah. for some of the biggest shows on Broadway leading up to Sunday's Tony Awards. Tell us about that. Okay. So I have been working with the folks from Empire Outlets, Joe Ferreira and uh, BFC Partners, which is the group that, that built this incredible mall. And I'm so looking forward to walking the space this Saturday where they bought uh, tickets for the prom. I mean, these are all Tony nominated yeah, shows. So yeah. the prom, Hades Town, and the revival of Oklahoma, which, you know, is doing is, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's awesome. And so I will be going out there. I'm bringing along this 15 year old guitarist who is incredible. His name is Jason Recht. He plays with this guy in um, New Jersey, Lou Paulo, and he's incredible. So we're going to do a little name that tune for these Broadway show tickets at the Empire Outlets. And, you know, as a kid growing up here in New York, I've been gone a long time, but we'd get on that Staten Island ferry. You'd take your pictures going past the Statue of Liberty, sure. land at Staten Island, get on the next ferry going back. Now that's changed. We've got some serious outlet shopping we can do. Right, yeah. Hang sure. on. It also includes tickets to uh, Staten Island Yankee games as well, right? We're giving right. away Yankee game tickets, uh, some gift certificates for the mall itself. So if you haven't had a chance to walk that space, I think Beautiful. you'll find... Because everything there is facing Manhattan. Mm. So the restaurants, everything, the backdrop is Manhattan. You really. mentioned the Tony Awards. I, uh, yes, my I went 21st last week, year. 21st year. Mm -hmm. wow. so, so last week I went to our colleagues, Joan Hamburg. She does an event every year. A She's huge iconic. Luncher. She is iconic. So my, my son, for example, his middle name is Atticus. <laughs> my wife loves to kill a mockingbird. So I went and saw Jeff Daniels on Broadway. Yes. And I met him last mm -hmm. week. He had no interest in meeting me. But anyway, he was there. The stars of Tootsie. Uh, you had um, King Lear. Uh, Glenda Jackson. Mm -hmm. You had uh, our friend from Curb Your Enthusiasm, um, Susie oh. Essman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What an unbelievable day. Yeah. And if you're a fan of Broadway, which I am, by the way, and certainly Tony. I did not big, know that, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've been going to some little kid. <clears throat> my, my parents would take us to, to the Barclay for brunch almost two Sundays a month. Mm -hmm. And we'd go down and get half price tickets at Duffy Square. Of course. And I've been to about a thousand Broadway shows. Yeah. This luncheon last week was great. Right up your alley. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't get to attend those, but I am in rehearsal as of today for the Tony Awards. Wow. 
going to be very exciting. James Corden is hosting, and the guests that we're going to have this year are phenomenal. And uh, it's going to be a thrilling show. It's my 21st consecutive wow. year, which incredible. is really incredible. Because really? when you do the work that I do, like I've done the Oscars, but I've done the... 10 times in 25 years. Right. So, you know, that's a lot, and I'm very grateful. But to have a show continue to ask you back every year for 21 years is... It doesn't get any better than that. I, mean, I know. That's high praise. And, uh, yes, Randy Thomas, uh, also, you're the original female voice of Nightline. I mean... Uh, the you, first woman, yes. The I'm, first. Yeah, right. I've been doing that for about 18 months now. Oh, 18 months. Okay. And so and how did you get into the business in the beginning? I was a disc jockey on the radio. Right, so that and was it. WPLJ was my second job in radio, and I only lasted a summer. <laughs> I was still a teenager. And when I left New York, Carol Miller took over the six, uh, oh, yeah. six to ten at night shift. So that's how I started. I had a 20-year radio career. When I was working on The Wave in Los Angeles, I auditioned because they were looking for the first woman in history to announce the Oscars. I booked that job. And then because Live Announce is such a small club of men that had previously done it, mm -hmm. uh, by breaking down that barrier and being the first woman, all the shows wanted to use Women, me because right. I was that one vetted How woman. Bad. But now, you know, I've crashed the ceiling and there's so uh, many women that do annoying. live. And now it's too many women. Yeah, really. <laughs> Calm down. Jeez, enough. Um, <laughs> I think of women in baseball boots. I mean, come on. But on a serious note, uh, the PLJ thing was a big thing for you. Yeah, and I listened last week. You did? Yeah. Friday, sure. you heard Race Taylor say goodbye? I did. Hey, Race, I know he's listening this morning. Did you cry? Um, I got... I it was touching, yeah. 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 Because... Well, to me, the the most haunting moment is when they say goodbye and there's silence. Yeah, the silence in radio, as we all know, is it's, it's deafening. Definitely. It's actually very good. Ooh, way to go! Nice job, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, we're, we're, we're <laughs> so we're simpatico. Yeah. So um, yeah, so I I felt it, and having been a part of that legendary station many many years ago. Uh, I felt this connection with everyone, even though. Well, you know, when you were there, was Allison Steele, you said. Uh, well, Carol I listened Miller. to Allison Steele on WNEW. Right. Carol Miller, I hadn't heard of her yet. She was still in Philadelphia. She took my shift. But it was Jim Care in the morning, Tony Pig, wow. Pat St. John, <laughs> me, Zachary, and overnight I Zachary. was. Um, the the talk show guy uh, uh, overnight Tom Snyder uh, what uh, no before Tom before Tom it was Joe Jack Franklin Paul <laughs> Alex Alex Bennett oh, oh Alex okay. Bennett all right Alex yeah. Bennett did overnight like right. John Lennon would stop by there in the middle of the night wow yeah wow. <laughs> So that's some history there. You also, uh, speaking of history, the Warriors played the Toronto Raptors tonight. Yeah, what and do you of think? And, well, I think Warriors all the way, sadly. But uh, you have a, a relative who brought basketball to, to Canada. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. Right. So before Toronto, the Toronto Raptors, they were the Toronto Huskies. And my uncle, Ben Newman, brought NBA basketball to Canada, to Toronto, and who knew? I mean, this is so exciting wow. that they're finally in a championship here. Yeah. What do you think the, how, how about the injuries to the Warriors? You think this means a Raptors Oh, no, it could, it could, it could hurt. I mean, Clay Thompson's hurt. Yeah. Kevin Durant Kevin hasn't Durant. played yet. They just lost Kevin Looney, Golden State. So they're beat up. They're beat up. The problem is they're still better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, the Raptors really needed to win that game, too. Yeah. To yeah. really put the hammer down on Golden State. But we'll see. We'll it's see. been reduced to tonight. a best of five, and tonight's game three. Great. So let's yeah. get yeah, uh, thank you. So let's get back to why you're here this week specifically, which is again working with the Empire Outlets on Staten Island, mm -hmm. uh, the ferry ready to go, and a speed ferry coming in December, and for people who want to come out and see you mm -hmm. on Saturday mm -hmm. and have a chance to win these great Broadway show tickets. How do they go about doing something like that? Show up at Empire Outlets. Um, there will be some sort of signage that will tell you where it's happening. My time is at 2 p.m. on Saturday afternoon, or two-ish because I'm Jewish, as I like to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, 
I'm going to be there. I've got uh, uh, this guitarist. There's going to be a DJ after me. They're really excited. They're they're so pumped that so many hundreds of thousands of New Yorkers yeah. are venturing across the and, and all the to biggest stores, out. all the biggest outlets. They're all there, right? Yeah, He's yeah. got them all. H and M. I love H and M. By the way, <laughs> I just <laughs> went. Hey, Bernie, ask Bernie yeah, what he bought me for my birthday last I year. I bought him a two hundred dollar gift certificate for his for from H and M. And you birthday. got like forty two things, well, I right? Gone yet, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> No, it's true. I just did the Environmental Media Awards in Los Angeles, and they're all about saving the planet. I didn't realize that H&M has this foundation. They are really committed to saving the planet in terms of resources and materials that they use. And so I'm excited to right. go out there and, and drop a few bucks at H&M at the Gra- outlets. Listen, Randy Thomas, 2 o'clock on Saturday, the Empire Outlets, uh, right at the St. George Ferry Terminal on Staten Island. Uh, tickets to uh, various plays, Staten Island Yankees. Yeah, we'll have fun. It's going to be great. Uh, Randy great. Thomas on the Bernie and Sid Show. Thank we appreciate you. you coming in. Really appreciate it. Love meeting you guys. You Big too, fan. Randy. Big fan of yours, too. Thank the you. great Randy Thomas. Check her out on Staten Island at those beautiful Empire outlets coming up on Saturday.